Thanks for watching Roll for Crit. Today, we are taking a look at a new game from Portal Games, Dune House Secrets. This is based on the Dune sci-fi universe, more specifically, the most recent Dune film. It makes use of the actors, at least, or illustrated versions of those actors and settings. This game is not a retelling of the story of the film. Instead, it takes place alongside it, or uh, some parts are kind of during or maybe right after the most recent Dune film. It is based on Portal's Detective, a modern crime board game system, and you are put in the shoes of an imprisoned person. You may be imprisoned for different reasons, depending on which character you choose, and you've got to work with a group of Fremen to solve some mysteries and help them out. You will play as characters, gain resources, and go through sort of these story cards over here to gain leads and hopefully answer questions at the end to find out what's been going on. Once you've chosen your characters, you're going to have a fun little sheet. We have, we're have we just showing off prologue stuff, so nothing too spoilery, which will tell you what's been going on and then tell you how to set up the game, what starting leads and resources you get. In this case, you're going to start off with these fun little asset cards you're going to get these throughout the game. They pretty much have a little descriptions on the back and a picture on the front, which may help you identify characters. And of course, like I said, starting resources and the timer. Then you're going to go through the game using your starting leads, which will be from this deck. I usually have some number. You're going to read it out and sometimes flip it. Sometimes you need to pay something in order to keep going or maybe even receive a resource. Now, I will say in addition to you learning more information, there may be times when you actually have to go onto their website where you will be given either, there's two different things, but more or less it's a, like a short video that presents some information to you including a couple that help remind you just in case you forgot what happened in the Dune movie. Yeah, you might you might not remember. It'll be it'll be some things, some history lessons, some lore perhaps. Mm -hmm. You'll also notice there is this consequence track down here. That is because some things in this game, some of them we said may require you to spend resources. Other ones will have you taking risks, which involves uh, this over here, this collection of five different tokens. And two of these are green, the other ones are red. And when you take one of those risk actions, you have to flip one of these randomly. If it's a green one, you're safe. Everything is good. You keep going. If it's a red one, you have to move this consequence token down one space on the track. And that's sort of like a victory point count. It's how successful you were at your mission could affect the outcome of the story. And if you end up taking too many risks and push it all the way to the bottom, there's a special card for you to read. Probably, we'll leave that for you. Yeah, you, pr you probably want to not have to experience that, depending on how you play. And as we said, you have this time track. Every time you choose to go to one of these cards and experience it, you move this to the next space by one. And once you are at the end, that marks the finish of your game. You go on the website, try to answer their questions uh, best you can, and you're kind of told what will happen. You may have a choice to make as to how the next case will proceed, and you continue on in that way. There are a total of three chapters plus the prologue, which is kind of the warm up to it all. And of course, as we said, this consequence track actually give you experience to get stickers. You notice you may already have some, they give you one-time powers, they have different mm -hmm. costs, and they have a little skill tree going on here as well. So that is another way to get, as he showed earlier, the wild resource, or maybe a way to move the clock, or even get infinite resources if you uh, invest to, uh, into that tree. Yeah, you can decide how you want to allocate these, which things are more important to you. A lot of them are extra resources. Some of them will give you uh, more time on the time track, for instance, stuff like that. So we uh, were both fans, pretty big fans of the original Detective Modern Crime board game. And we also both enjoyed the Dune movie that, that just came out. Uh, so this is very similar. I would say the ways that it's most different significantly, number one, in Detective, a card might take you two hours, three hours. You were never quite sure. In this, it's always just going to cost one time point. So it's you're much simpler, more yes. predictable in that the, way. But because of that, there's a lot less gambling. In mm -hmm. the other detectives, there's usually different locations you go to. And because of that, you know, like the lab tends to be more time points you have to spend versus some other locations. You don't really have that here, even though they do give... Uh, this is just the map they give you in the beginning. There are more for you and fun stuff for you to unlock. <laughs> so th they have elements of that, but it seems to me, at least in my opinion of it, we actually both played these separately from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're seeing more of the outcome of mine, uh, uh, that it was streamlined a bit, I feel, because 100%. <laughs> for people who may be coming from the movies, you know, 
Uh, I feel that also with the way the the mystery works, the powers and stuff, there's a lot more weirder resources, I feel, management, or at least in my head. Mm -hmm. Back when I played the um, the original detective games, meanwhile this, I'm just like, yeah, we have this. You know when I'm going to spend the equivalent of spice for someone or right. bribe someone. <laughs> yeah, this is, I guess, where you're, uh, you know, the the unsureness, that's a word, uh, the unpredictability comes into play is if you're willing to try for this because it could hurt you in the long run. But I found that ultimately, compared to detective, uh, it, was, it was much less stressful. You're much more likely to be able to see all the cards you really wanted to see. I would feel that this becomes a bit more stressful, in my opinion, when you're playing with more than when you weren't playing single player. Because when I did with other people, you know, we, when you have oh, you did car, play this with other people. I did the first ones oh, okay. with other people, yes. And that becomes just more, it's not like that much stressful, it's just more like you want more because you want everyone to get a sticker. <laughs> and the stickers are not in, or not even like just powers like this are not nearly as in detective. It was an interesting twist I think they took. However, because they're one time, and I'm going to be honest, you probably can get through this entire story without ever spending any. <laughs> uh, stickers or, yeah. yeah. Like uh, getting the powers. Yeah. I don't think it's, they're not like you're going to be in huge trouble because you didn't invest in the smuggler tree. Well, that's the other biggest difference, I think, between this and Detective. In the original Detective, and I apologize if people haven't played that one and this means nothing to you, but it'll help me get my point across. In that game, you really did have to make a lot of deductions. You had to find evidence and you had to think about the questions they ask you at the end. And you could fail and get the answers wrong and solve, fail to solve the mystery and have to play it again. This game doesn't really have a success or fail state. It, you really read a bunch of cards and then you might have a slightly different outcome at the end, but it's always going to say, here's what happened. Move on to the next one. The questions are not nearly as involved. No, that, that I think that was part of the streamlining. It wasn't nearly as dangerous. Like you did not need to find fingerprints and the other ones. You literally would type things in and say like find DNA evidence mm -hmm. and all this stuff. They don't care on Dune. They, you think <laughs> this guy's guilty? Okay. He's guilty. <laughs> Which to me is probably my, it kind of ties into my biggest issue with this game is because of that, I personally felt that while I did enjoy the Dune theming, I think they do a pretty good job. You know, the story is nothing crazy to write home about. But I, yeah, I think they did a good job balancing you are living in the sort of side story of Dune, capturing what it's like there. But you're not like an expert of Dune. You don't have to be like, I have the wiki page open. Here. No, they'll they'll give you some Wikipedia entries. Uh, but it really felt that to me at a certain point, like, I think I cared less about what the card said because I knew that at the end of the day, I didn't, I didn't really need to take notes. I didn't need to really solve a mystery because it kind of solves it for you. You sort of just are reading the story and it'll kind of feed that to you. And also because you're not finding DNA or fingerprints or any of that stuff, the website, as we said, really just gives you some videos that some of them are just text <laughs> in a video form. <laughs> to be fair, though, the ones that are text are usually because you found a journal or something. It's yeah, but it's like that could have been a card. Why do, I feel like the the website aspect was well, far less utilized in this well, than the original. That's game. actually the um, I agree with you because I do feel the mysteries, and like the problem is I feel like it's done because I can see people picking this up who aren't nearly as used to maybe the more gritty or thing that I think Detective offers, which we enjoy because this is our bread and butter kind of game. So anything that makes things more complicated, we're not as sure. I felt like I was much more certain through this game versus other detective games. Like In terms I, of understanding where to go and what the mystery was? Yeah, like yeah. solving it. I don't think it was near. Yeah, I don't think like, you need to solve anything. Like, I think they just tell you. <laughs> yeah, I guess you, I guess that's what I, uh, you're saying. Yeah. And the sticker thing was how they tried to add something on there, but because of, one, they're just stickers, but it didn't feel too like you needed them too much. I really wished that it was actually something on the website. And I feel like that was an area where you, you can do so much more interesting stuff there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And maybe it, w maybe it wouldn't be attached to characters as much, but maybe you could be like, you've unlocked this. So for now on your group has a connection. And on the card, it says, if you have this jump to this or something, like if you have acrobatics now, Right. You can get over a wall to sneak in or something. Yeah, one thing I'll say, if you're going to play this, I did not even remove the stickers. I just wrote down what they had because – 
you can do that and that way you can give it to someone else and they can play it. There's really not a reason to, to have stickers, honestly. <laughs> like it could have just been, they could have been tokens that you take would have been just as easy. I mean, it is kind of, you know, it's, I guess, convenient to put them onto your character sheet directly, but it almost feels like they did this so you couldn't give it to somebody. <laughs> yeah. the, <laughs> That's being cynical, end, but <laughs> I, I, I feel like I still do that, but <laughs> The thing is, I think overall the theme is fun and it's definitely made so someone who's maybe newer to board games can definitely enter in this and not feel too overwhelmed. And like the story wasn't disappointing in and of itself. And I think it connects in a fun way in the Dune verse. However, if you have played the detective games before and you really like them, this will feel like a step down, not because I think of it's designed wrong, it's just that you're already you've been prepped. It's like going into like playing a, 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 a easy mode when you've been playing hard mode for most of the time. Crits and misses for Dune House Secrets. Crits. Set in the world of the film, it makes good use of the Dune universe, is accessible to people who are new, but still will be of interest if you are a hardcore Dune fan. It has to be taken into account that this is coming out alongside the release of the new movie, and not everyone might have read the entire Dune series. As you play, you'll have access to the Dune House Secrets website, which will be rewarding you along the way with various videos and lore tidbits that will be satisfying to collect. In particular, the videos with voice acting are very good and help bring the game to life. Especially compared to the original Detective series, this game is very much streamlined, simpler. There's very little stress as a result of that, not really a failure state. So you're more able to appreciate the narrative and not worry as much about solving the crimes. This does so, so you really can just focus on the story rather than being worried that you'll have to replay a chapter all over again. Misses. I enjoyed the videos, especially the ones with audio, but in the end, a lot of it did feel like they could have just been cards added into the game. The videos probably could have had a little bit more information or action in order to make sure that they're actually worth being different from a card. In Detective, I felt like the website was an integral part of the experience and you could not play that game without it. Here, the website feels like an afterthought, feels like they threw it in just because it was part of the system, but it doesn't really lend itself to this game. The way it streamlines makes it much more enjoyable for those who have never played any of these types of games before. However, if you are used to detective or any kind of mystery solving games, it may feel a bit basic and you're just being handheld instead of actually trying to solve a mystery. I liked that the time costs for the cards were consistent and it made it a little bit less stressful, but I think they went a little bit too far in that direction and at some points it felt sort of mindless to play. The stickers were a clever idea, but like the videos I stated before, I don't think they did enough. It feels pretty simple and even in Jonathan's case, not really worth peeling off and putting on the cards. I can't help but keep comparing this game to the original Detective because it, it is essentially a retheme, a reskin of that same system. And uh, my issue with the original Detective was I thought that the story was sort of dry, but I really enjoyed the gameplay. And I feel like this game reversed that, where they gave it a theme that I think is really cool, but made the gameplay much less involved and interesting. And ultimately, uh, you know, your experience may vary and maybe yours is different because uh, you played a little bit with other players. I did it all solo. But for me, I really didn't enjoy this game. I think I pretty much agree with you. I think we just disagree on where we didn't enjoy it as much because it, it sounds like I enjoyed the videos more when you didn't. Also, I actually really missed that gamble with the time tracker. Mm. I like that because there was a bit more planning around, but you also have, you usually had a lot more time in there to deal with it. And because of that, Granted, we played detective together. There was discussion of like, do you think we should go here? I think that'll be about two time. We'll do this. So I really feel like you said, I think that's because the mechanics of the original detective really have you really reward. I think playing with other people and discussing things more than just simply who do you think did it? There's yeah. much more, I think, the, the gaminess, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I think what I liked was I know there's plenty of times in detective where I, like if it was, oh, we only have two hours left, where should we go? And I happened to pick the place that was three hours and that means it's the last card. I, that's where I feel like 
there's less feeling bad because you know exactly what you're going to be able to do. And I did like that as a contrast to detective. Uh, that that's, that's what I liked about the time track, but, but definitely ultimately it adds up to an experience that after like the first, um, after really after the prologue, maybe after the first chapter, I felt like I don't really need to take notes anymore. I don't oh, really yeah, feel no, like I agree. writing down names was that important. Cause I just, it was, I didn't need to know anything. I think this had a lot of potential, but because of, I would say maybe the fear of making sure it's mass mark more mass marketable, it sort of failed a little bit. Well, this is supposedly the first of I think three. I think there's going to be three sets of this continuing story. So maybe in those other boxes they will add things or change things as as they go on, or maybe they'll just be more like smaller expansions and they won't mess with the rules at all. But they could improve as time goes on. That is possible. I mean, we also we while we like the Dune movie, we both said it's something that we feel like we need the other Dune movies. To really give the final appreciation of it. Yes, so. maybe this will, maybe those other ones will make this one come to light in a better way. This was only just the prologue of everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, let us know what you think. If you've had the chance to play House Secrets, if you're a big Dune fan, or maybe you came into this blind not knowing anything about Dune, uh, what your experiences were with it, how you feel about it compared to Detective, or if this was your first time in that system. You can let us know in those comments down below. And if you feel like that there's any other world that the detective system should take on next. Yeah, talk to us down there. Otherwise, my name is Jonathan. I'm Will. And this has been Roll for Crit. Hey there, thank you so much for watching our video. Please, if you can, hit that like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And check out our Patreon. There we have a lot of cool stuff, including a Discord and a second part to our podcast. If you just want to hear the free one, don't worry. You can check out our board game podcast, which releases weekly in the links down below. 